y'all! So today, obviously by the title, I'm going to be getting game day ready with you guys. So I um, typically work football games for my job, and I thought it would be a good time to show you guys how I like to do my makeup whenever I know I'm going to be outside. And contrary to popular Pinterest belief, football season in Texas is still really, really hot. <laughs> like, very hot. Um, we're lucky if our Thanksgiving game is technically... Um, you know, like a normal chili where you get to wear your sweaters and stuff. So, um, it's still hot. So we have to do something that isn't going to look too cakey or too messy or anything like that. Um, and that will last. So yeah. So if you're interested in learning how I like to do my makeup when I'm going to be outside in the heat, in the humidity, um, for a football game, just keep watching. Okay. So please ignore my hair for one thing. I don't know what to do with it. Um, okay, so for this particular look, I did obviously already wash my face and moisturize. I'm going to go in with some primer, and first I'm going to start with the Benefit Professional Primer and target this on my T-zone because I obviously want to stay pretty, like control my oils a little bit better in my T-zone. You guys have seen me do this before, but I'm going to take the Hourglass, Hourglass, right? Yeah, Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick um, sh in Champagne Flash. And we're going to highlight here. And I want to do that because I really want to make sure that my skin is still pretty really glowy and really pretty for this particular look because we're not going to be doing a whole lot of like we're not going to do any foundation um not a whole lot of face products so I really want it to be like healthy and glowy looking. I'm going to take the ColourPop no filter concealer. You can take whatever concealers you like. Um I'm going to start with this one. This is in the color light I think 14 um and we're going to apply this mainly where um like I have a lot of more redness. Just kind of even out the skin tone a little bit. Then I'm going to take this in Fair 08 and I'm just going to make sure that I have um, this darkness covered a little bit better. Right here, right here, and then just a little bit right there. And I'm really just going to focus this lighter concealer and try to keep it really close and kind of basically right where I applied it instead of blending it like out right away. Okay, and as far as like coverage, that's all I'm going to do um, today. I'm going to go in with the translucent setting powder from ColourPop and apply that under the eyes. And my chin here. And just kind of let those areas bake. That way they're a little bit more um, set for the heat and sweating. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild um, pressed powder, the Photo Focus pressed powder, just on a powder brush. And then basically kind of set the rest of that area, but you're not adding too much more coverage. And you want to be sure and do this um, if you're going to apply blush and bronzer, because if not, your powder will more than likely skip. So this is kind of making, helping out even, helping to even out kind of your surface while you're applying your bronzer and blush. Take the Mario Badescu facial spray and go ahead and spray. I'm going to also spray with the, ah, with the NYX matte finishing spray, setting spray. Okay, for bronzer I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer today on this the H Cosmetics brush and just apply some back here and bring some warmth back into the face because it's like 
I'm really blah right now. with um, Wet n Wild, Apricot in the Middle, and also Rosé Champagne. I'm going to mix these two just because something different and these are so like soft and pretty and natural. I think the colors together would actually look really pretty. And you do want to apply a little bit more blush and bronzer than you would probably typically apply because that's going to be the first thing to fade on your makeup. So don't be worried if you kind of go a little bit too overboard like I typically do um, because it'll fade fast, especially being outside in the heat and everything. I'm going to go in with this um, ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in On the Cusp. This is from the Kathleen Lights collaboration and I'm going to take my finger and kind of just press at first where I want it here and around under the brow bone too and then I'm going to take my brush and then just kind of buff that in a little bit better make sure it's a little bit more blended I feel like I can never get it all the way blended with just my finger but this is just like the perfect natural I mean it's not natural there's nothing natural about this but it's just the tone of it is just very very pretty and it's not chunky or super glittery um, so I just feel like for this kind of look it's really the perfect highlight very simple um, honestly like I said this whole look is just like super easy um, let's see. Grab any palette you want to, but I'm gonna grab this uh, palette from Crown Brushes. This came in a boxy charm box um, a couple of months ago, but it's just a warm tone palette. I mean, I'm sure most of you who like makeup have a palette similar to this. I'm gonna take this shadow right here and apply this to the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this shadow on my lid. It's just a really pretty kind of rose shimmery shadow. I'm just going to take this all over the lid. And just take the same brush and kind of open those two together. Okay, and then I'm just going to deepen just a little bit in the outer corner. I'm going to take... I think this color right here, this one, uh, no, maybe I think this one actually because it's not, not too, too dark, but a little bit darker. And then we're just going to place this on the very outer corner here. Okay. Blend it out. I'm going to take this little, I guess, champagne color and we're going to apply that right in the inner corner here. And I'm also kind of going to bring it up on the lid here, right, but still kind of keeping it in that general area. And this is a Morphe M506 and it is so good for this kind of inner corner. And then we're just going to stick with the same brush because I'm trying to make this quick. Uh, go back with those same um, matte shadows and apply them to lower lash line and I think just to keep this look softer I'm just gonna stick with only putting that first shadow underneath my eye and not adding any more any of the darker colors before I apply mascara I usually like to spray my face again with some setting spray and then while that's drying I go in and add some uh, brow gel and I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, brow boss gel today because this stuff really keeps your brows in place and obviously mine are a little unruly. I can't even tell you the last time I got them done. 
Okay, so I went in with some waterproof mascara. Obviously, that's probably pretty important. Um, obviously, you can use whatever products that you have on hand. And I feel like I've done several of these type of tutorials, but I think they're really easy and people don't realize, like, you don't have to wear a full face of foundation um, or a bunch of powder to either it last all day and for you to have some type of coverage and it look good throughout the day. So um, I wouldn't, for sure wouldn't skip primer, setting spray, or powdering either your concealer or whatever type of um, like tinted moisturizer if you want to use that underneath. I would suggest also using, um, putting some SPF down before you apply your makeup or using products with SPF. Obviously that's really important because you're going to be outside. But I've just found that when you're outside in the heat and the humidity and you're outside for a very long period of time that when you wear heavier foundation or you wear a lot of powder, there's it's inevitable if you're going to sweat, it's going to start looking cakey and just kind of breaking up and looking really messy so if um, you can avoid that but still have makeup on and feel like you're put together that's always a nice plus so okay I'm going to just show you guys like the end of the night um, it is 10 o'clock I got rained on three times we had a hundred percent humidity I'm like pretty sure it was a hundred percent and I was sweaty so I wanted to show you guys my makeup obviously I am greasy oily obviously I'm oily and also I mean the highlight too you know adds to you looking oily but honestly for rain heat humidity still holds up pretty well so Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy college football season as much as I do and I definitely have to say giga mags. Um, we hope this is going to be a good season for us. I'm obviously a huge football fan so yeah if you're a football fan and you have a team that you root for let me know down below. Um, I'm always down to talk football so just let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah so that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!